Hey guys, so I just got in the room. We literally just got to Napoli. I'm gonna call it, I'm probably gonna switch between calling it Naples and Napoli, so excuse that. Um, I have a massage book literally for like right now, hence why I'm dressed in a robe. And here is the massage bed. But I wanted to show you, give you a bit of a room tour because I think this room is amazing. And if you're coming to Nap Napoli, Naples, Napoli, um, yeah, I think that this might be a hotel that you want to consider because they're just they're actually currently in the middle of renovations, but they assured me that there'd be like no issues with noise. So if that's something you're worried about, rest assured, like I can't hear any noise or anything like that. Um, and a lot of these rooms are new. So I'm going to show you, give you a quick little room tour before, um, before the massage therapist gets here, hopefully soon. So this is the entryway. I booked a 90 minute massage by the way, much needed. Let me just say that, okay? Much, much needed. Here's the entryway and when you walk in, this is basically the whole outlay of the room. So as you can see in here, you've got the king bed. I'm on the sixth floor by the way. Obviously this won't be here if this is something you know, you're interested in. I just love the fact that I got here. My massage was actually booked for 5.30. We got here a little bit later than planned. And here is the massage bed already waiting. Um, a little bit of a desk. I thought I'd show you now before I mess it up because this room's gonna get a really messy in about two hours because we have three suitcases. There they all are. I'm not gonna show you the view just yet because you can't see anything because it's just, it's gotten quite dark out there, but we have a balcony and it looks freaking stunning. It looks stunning. This is really cool as well. It's like a giant trunk. And apparently this is like, I kind of want one of these to be honest, because I think it's really, really cool. Hour later. I actually cannot believe I'm finishing the room tour like this, but <laughs> this is real life. Um, midway through the massage therapist came through and we've just finished now. It was like 10 past seven. So it was like an hour and a half of just pure bliss. Hence why I look this terrifying. Oh my god, I'm puffy. Oh, it was so good. Anyway, what I don't think I finished showing you, it's a bit dark now, so maybe it's better if I show you tomorrow. I'll probably actually, yeah, I'll probably show you this tomorrow because I don't know how to open it. It's really cool though. It's like a giant trunk full of alcohol and food <laughs> and coffee. And through here is the bathroom. So, excuse this. Um... This just leaked all over my bag so that's why this is a bit of a mess but this is the bathroom his and hers or hers and hers or his and his you know 2023 so anything is a go this is the bathroom and then we have a bidet toilet and like a bath and shower situation so it's pretty roomy um, and i can't wait to show you the balcony i'll show you that tomorrow because it's like pitch black you won't see anything outside but um all in all it's like a really great room anyway i've got to make myself look somewhat presentable because i'm pretty sure i'm going out for dinner now and why can't i go out for dinner looking like this so um yeah i'll touch base with you tomorrow i think this is probably where i'll leave it tonight because yeah we're probably gonna go grab some dinner i hope nowhere nice because i don't think this is really salvageable <laughs> um but yeah this is the room I'll show you the balcony tomorrow and this cool trunk thing. I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, we went out for dinner last night. Where did we go? It was like this really yummy pizza oh, restaurant. Small water, it wasn't right. even the it wasn't even the intended plan. We were supposed to go to this steak restaurant, and then we saw this pizza place, and we thought it looked good. Can you show me yeah. how to use the um, that mini box? I tried to open it last night, and I had trouble. Let me in closing it. It's very nice. Yeah. This is the mini bar. This is wicked, yeah. It is, isn't it? It's like a it's giant like, trunk.
It's so beautiful. There's the ocean. It's a bit, it's a bit foggy, so I'm not sure how well you can see it. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. So what is really it? There's a see. castle down there, and Mount Vesuvius is just over there on the left-hand side. You can't see it right now, but... Is it because it's a bit foggy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a bit foggy. Look at the ocean. It looks so still. Want to go for a swim? Yes. It's actually quite nice here. Oh, look at the big seagulls. So yes, this is the view. We have a beautiful balcony. Mikey, I might get you to take a photo of me at some point out there during that trip. I was worried about the noise, but it's actually not that noisy because you can, um, it's got like, what are those things called? Venetian blinds. You can close them and open them. And then by the time you shut the curtain, and usually the beeping and the loud traffic goes away at night. So I actually think it's a pretty good place to stay. What else do we need to tell them? If you ever come here, the taxi driver said to take off your diamonds and your watches because that's what attracts yeah robbers and stuff robbers he says it's generally quite safe yeah he says it's generally quite safe but to, just to be safe uh, we got followed a couple of times in rome eh? yeah <laughs> and that was a bit um that was a bit scary so i just decided to take my ring and my watch off and probably better to be safe than sorry so we just went upstairs for breakfast because they close at 10 30. this view is absolutely insane <laughs> One thing that I just wanted to mention as well was all of this food that you see here was actually included in the price that you pay for your stay. So the breakfast is included. They also have an additional menu that does cost extra. We found this food to be more than enough for us. The coffee, the bacon and eggs, all the little pastries, the breads, the yogurt. Um, it was all so, so incredibly delicious and the service was just phenomenal. Before I end today's video, I just wanted to show you at this restaurant as well that I will have linked in the description if you ever visit Napoli. This restaurant was one of the best ones that we visited in Napoli. The lobster pasta was amazing, the view was incredible, the wine was delicious, and we actually hired a scooter to get there. And if you're feeling brave enough to do that, I think that's probably the best way to get around Napoli. And this is where I think I'm gonna end today's video. Other than this and this really delicious, expensive lunch, I didn't do anything else that luxurious and that kind of like traditional standard luxury. This whole trip felt like a luxury to me but in terms of more like traditional luxury experiences, these are what I have to share with you. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.